We've got fun and games. We've got everything you want. Just call out our names. Whatever you may need, we'll make your dreams come true. In the fan zone, the adventure awaits for you. Step into the magic, feel the energy. Open up your mind, set your spirit free. Welcome to the fan zone. Oh, 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 oh. Welcome to the fan zone. Take a step and go. Welcome to the fan zone. You'll never be alone. Welcome to the fan zone. Dancing in the moonlight, enjoying sunny days In this world of wonder, anything is possible Come along and join us, let's make it unforgettable All your hopes and fears, they will disappear Feel the love and joy, let it all be clear Welcome to the Sven Zone oh, 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 oh. Welcome to the Sven Zone Take a step and go Welcome to the Sven Zone Alrighty, welcome everybody to a little bit of TNT in the Sven Zone. Nice. Making sure my sound worked. And it does. Alright, so we're doing um some prepping today. Doing a little bit something a little bit of advanced. Um And I think it's easier just to show you what I'm talking about than it is trying to get into the specifics of what I'm looking at. So, you have a map. We'll just type in 
So what I did is I went over here to my library and my images under under campaign, and then I'm just going to type in map because I have 136 pages of images here. Um, here you go, Dargan map player. I'm going to turn off the lighting and stuff because we don't care for about that right now for this. What we're talking about, don't care about line of sight, don't care about lighting. Okay. So what I did was I uh, toggled the toolbar to drop this down and I clicked over here where it says unlock right here where it locked and that pulls up the DM. Went to uh, play mode here and then here enable or disable the player vision, line of sight, and lighting. So I turn all that off because what I'm talking about has nothing to do with any of those things. So we're fighting, and when you add the players to the open up the player map, make him uh, clicking on faction to make him green, make him a friend. You can then drag from here, friend, neutral, or at hostile. You can drag them all over to the map at once. Boom. And you're wondering, gee, Sven, what determined the layout of the tokens? If we go here to your party sheet, and go ahead and close this. Give myself a little computer, a little more thinking room. Throw in a quote while we're here. I'm playing with my cleric deck. If I make a mistake, that would be a clerical error. Magic the Gathering. Alright, so if we go here to the party sheet and to order, the players do have access to this. You then determine what direction you want them in. So the formation here, so you can turn it, um, autofill, and then you can have different formations. So if they're walking in a single file line, you can put it in number two. If you there, um, this is the different form um, formations you can have, uh, and so that's why. It looks like this. And then you can turn the way they're facing. They're facing this way, they're facing down. So then when you drag them on, you can also, uh, and then you can also clear the formation. Uh, and here, drag icon to the map to add funny units in the formation. You can then drag this straight to here or from here. So they made some changes to this, made it a little bit clearer, made it a little bit easier to use. Added more options. This is where you can now have three. You can now change the order of it. So that's where you find that from. Point is, you're, they're now on the map. Um, and so, if you look at what I've done. What I've done with the group photo, and I try to keep it up to date when I can. Uh, every time that there's a change in the party order, so Nashville, if you see on the bottom here, Nashville group photos. So here it is. This is to scale. Hold control. So you can see you've got Genesis, her small ferret, the halfling, the, oh, well, the gnome, and then the halfling. Athena, very large owl, his little tiny familiar human, 
and then the half orc. So these, this is what the sizing should be. Okay. I mentioned that, so I clicked minimize, and that made a circle right here. So I don't have to just look for it again. I can just pop it up from open from there. Now we'll, on the map, the combat map. If you switch to the camera mode and you open here the entire navigation panel, I'm going to stretch it out a little bit. We then rotate, move backwards a little bit, and move down. You can see. So, all of the everything leading up to this moment led us to this travesty of sight. The halfling is tiny, which is sort of correct, but the half orc is sort of correct. But you've got this giant Genesis, this elf, half elf, just towering above everybody. Um, the human is as almost as tall as the half work. These two teenagers should be sort of closer to this. Um, actually, probably th she's probably correct as to where they should be. Point is, they are not to scale. And I like this view a lot. I like to use this when I stream. I like to use this when I play as a player. I use this view all the time. Let me change. Put the camera down a little bit so you can see my flailing hands. All right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to correct these images so that we're going to go back to another view. And just for argument's sake, I'm going to make a clip. So we can do a before and after. Minimize. Alright, so now we're going to change, go back to this view. We're going to right click. And we're going to... Delete the token. Delete all tokens. Bloop, they're all gone. So, just so you know, if we go into the monster manual, so here are your NPCs. You can go here to scroll down to the group. Drop the, I open the drop down menu here. D&D &D monster manual. All of these creatures you have to add them from the combat tracker just so you know so you drag the record link over here here's an acolyte which is a normal human but he has an A um, there are cocoa is a bird they should have one yeah And then for fun, let's just do like goblin, kobold, kobold to small. Close, close, close everything. Now I take my red tokens, drag them over to here. Cobalt. Switch to the, uh, turn them all on. Atomic Hero Squad. Welcome to the house, to the stream. So you can see they are already sized correctly. Everything from the tiny Cobalt, normal size, human ish size, Aarakocra, to the giant Draco Lich. So the monster manual has everything done, which makes it really cool when you're fighting the characters. So we need to 
fix our characters so that when we drag them in you don't have this giant Genesis compared to the, the half orc who should be towering over her. They um, and also they will then turn the camera, rotate, 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 move it back, move it back. You can also use your keyboard arrow keys. They are correctly sized to the bad guys as well, so the kobold is t should be tiny compared to him, but she should be his size. So we're going to fix all that. Change back the view. This is advanced stuff. Delete token. Delete all tokens. Um, has no bearing if you're not using that view. And as the DM, I don't use that view to run the combat. I use the 2D version, the top down version. Um, of the fight but for there we go but as a player I do it and then when I stream I use that 2d version and by having the correct sizing of the images when you do things like an enlarged spell uh, or a reduced spell or uh, things like that when fancy grounds automatically changes the sizing of the tokens it'll make be all correct as it, sh as it should be so let's get busy shall we I'm gonna close the combat tracker for a minute so the first thing you need to do is find where it's pulling these images from So we go back to our image, our group photo, and all the images here, are what, except for Kithri, are what I'm using for their players. So we go here to toggle toolbar. We then go here to unlock to locked and make it unlocked. And now we can see all the images here. So Tusk PNG is what I'm looking for. So I go to my, um, here to my, I have a couple of my file folders open. What I did was within Fantasy Grounds, my, within my Fantasy Grounds folder, I then went to images. I have a battle maps folder. And since I'm using these character tokens for the battle maps, I made a subfolder of character map tokens so that's where you can see the ones I've done already that's where they live so I have this open and now I have my other file explorer open to try to find these images I'm looking for so the first one I'm looking for is Tusk um, Go down to the T's. Alright, so here's a Tusk JPEG, but the one I want is the PNG. So this is not where it is. Uh, let's go back, let's go to the campaign. It would make sense that they would be in this campaign, which is late night. I mean, uh, Wednesdays. Images. Go down to T. Tusk. PNG. There he is. So there is a software called Fancy Grounds Image Metadata Builder. This is what we use, and this is what Fancy Grounds people use. We'll make it a little bit smaller. There we go. So it's somewhat common sense. First thing we do is you drag the fold the image over. There he is. Now 
if I only wanted a certain part of the picture, I would use the clip region, but I'm using the whole image, so I'm going to do measurement region. You click on this, and it says in the bottom, set a region with a known height or width. Click the top left of the region. So we know what his height is. We don't know what his width is. So we're going to go start from his height. Top left is here. Now it says click the bottom right. So it's down here. Click. Define either the height or the width. So we go to Fancy Grounds. I have all of his characters open. Tusk to the notes page, notes folder. His height is six foot six inch. So we go back to here. Height six point six. His expected grid height is one, because he's a medium creature. And the last thing we do is set the center floor. Click that, and it says click the center floor. So we're going to put it right here in between. It's a little bit up and down because it's uh, where he's standing is going to be like right there. Boom. And now save. If he was a flying creature, you can then click float, and it'll bump it up when you're looking at it on that two-dimensional two map. So now it's done. Um, now what I do is I'm going back to my two file explorers. You'll notice he now has an XML here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to left-click this copy Open up my other file explorer, click, paste, you can also do control C, control V, and now I'm moving this over. Boom. What I should have done, and what I'll do going forward, is copy the, the image first and then put it back. And then the last step to this is to go back into Fancy Grounds. Right here where his portrait is, you click that area and it brings this up. I'm then going to get rid of the one that was there already before. And we're going to come in here we go to data to battle maps remember I told you where the path was already oh I forgot to refresh so you'll notice the bottom of this window is down just anywhere within inside it hold down the control button left click drag will resize the window um, or it doesn't want to cooperate. There it does. There it goes. Okay. Um, and then refresh assets. You'll see over here in your chat. It will say folder assets refreshed. So now when I open up my character map tokens, there's Tusk. And I drag him over here. Bink. There we go. So now Tusk is finished. I can close this. Close down Tusk. Tusk is done. All right, so looking here, let's go to I think I'm going to change Athena. I'm going to let's upgrade Athena to the better token because right now we're just using the owl let's change it to the one that was actually made for her um, so we got to find her here's Athena 2 
So we have to find where that is. And if you were a wiser person than I, you would have these images in certain places. So right now, most of them are in my campaign for Wednesday images. So fingers crossed, we should be able to find all of them pretty easily. So here's, we're going to work on this one next. We're then going to pull up our other character uh, copy. Now the reason I'm copying it instead of moving it, Control V, based, um, is because this image here is pulling this this picture is pulling this image from that file and if I move it it'll disappear and I'll have to reload it and go through all that work it's easier just to copy it so now I open up the one I just copied Athena I open up my meta builder data metadata builder drag it over bloop there she is and then I'm going to go to so she's a huge, like a barn owl, like three feet tall. So this is not a tiny animal. She's as, almost as big as her halfling. She's a familiar. Uh, so her the halfling arcane trickster, the caster. So we're going to go with set measurement region. Uh, we'll go here, top left. And again, we're just reading what it says on the bottom. Top left will be here, bottom left here height is three feet expected number of, of squares is one grid squares we're going to do set center floor first here and then float save successfully created and there she is Athena boom now we go to our assets refresh there's Athena we then go to Athena now Athena is a cohort she's a familiar so I have a special extension that allows me to add cohorts you can also go to NPCs and find her there as well open up Athena so now with NPCs monsters and stuff click on here to open up the same thing so now we're gonna change some things we don't have a token yet so we're gonna fix that right now but we're gonna add this here where it should be maybe oh it's locked haha <laughs> My bad. All right, so it's an NPC, so you have to unlock it. There we go. Now it's unlocked. Now we open this up. Now we can add it. See, it says plus and minus on this other stuff. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. And the full body is the same. Click. All right, so now you guys will learn the other aspect of the token building. It is extremely easy. What I do is I go to my interweb there we go and go to a thing called roll advantage altogether one word rolladvantage.com they are amazing it is free I've used it forever to make my tokens and it's extremely simple you've seen me use it before choose the image right here so we're going to Fancy grounds, images, actually, let's take it back. Fancy grounds, campaigns, jester. Welcome, welcome. By the way, jester, there is a person called Weird666. Where's my phone? Uh, here it is. 663. And he makes 
I'll p type it in the chat. Weird six six three. Oh, good. I was gonna say because he does the same. He's been doing the RPG builder for a, at least five years. Um, he was doing it when it was really, really archaic and basic, and he's been upgrading every time that they do it. So uh, I'm glad you I'm glad you know who it is. He got me into game development. Good, perfect. I'm glad you know who he is. Um, he's not as flashy and exciting as Atomic is, but he's a nice guy. And he knows his stuff, so I'm glad you I'm glad you know him, uh, especially because you're going into that realm and going to school for it and uh, doing everything. So cool, 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 excellent. Uh, yeah, he was streaming earlier today, and I reminded me to hey, I gotta next time I see Jester, I gotta mention that to him. All right, so we're we're pulling up the image so we can make Athena's token. And we go here to the campaign, which is Wednesdays. We go to images. Here's Athena. Open. And it can be a JPEG, a PNG, doesn't matter. Uh, it uses it can use almost any type of file, image file. You go here, click on this. What type of border do you want for this token? Um, I think we're going to go with a little fancier, uh, like a little squiggly line here. Bloop, 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 bloop. You can then pick the color of the border. I think I'm going to go with closer to her eyes. There you go. Boom. Make it match the eyes. Uh, you can click on here and change the order. Background color is brown. So I'm going to go make it more black. Let's see if it loses the bird. Yeah, we lose. Here you can see what the final thing is going to look like. Um, we're going to move it. We're going to make it a little bit bigger. Maybe I'll go with like a gray. Background color. Uh, let's go with basic white and make it more of a gray. That's what it'll look like finally. Uh -huh. Make it a little darker. There you go. And we're going to pull it down just a little bit. There you go. So now we um, download. And you just need to remember to put it into wherever your tokens are. So Fancy Grounds. Tokens. And then name it. So this is Owl Familiar Save Close Go to your assets Refresh You've known weird longer than me Cool That's awesome So now we go to tokens. We go to, you can go right to data and find it or just search for it. So I'm just going to search for it. It is owl. It's going to be owl bears. There's going to be lots of things here. Um, what we're looking for is owl, owl familiar. It's also howl. Anything that has howl in it is there as well. Um, and there she is. Boom. And then what I'm going to do is I'm then going to re-add this new Athena to the combat tracker. Up here in the top right, combat tracker. Here's Athena. I'm just going to delete, right click, delete, delete. Close this. Lock it again. Lock it and pop it and lock it and pop it. Boom. And then Athena will probably go in as... There it is. There it is. Athena. 
All right. Um, close. All right, so we finish with Athena. Next, we have, we'll do Kithri, since it's sitting right here. Um, go to notes. So she's 2 feet 11 inches. She's shorter than I thought she was. Okay, so we're going to go here to our image that we're working from. And the, the this is the background. Kithri, so it's a Kithri JPEG. So this one is different than what I'm using for her. This is what I'm using for her. I'm not sure where this is from. Interesting. Um, let's see if I can find. So we go back to assets. Let's go. Let's look for images because this is this type of PNG is would only be there. Now let's look for thief. There it is, halfling thief. Perfect. Okay, so this one's actually probably pretty darn close to. Um, the correct size and I don't think I have access to this image so we're gonna m make sure we have access to this image so this is gonna be a little bit more tricky um, add a couple extra steps to our process so here's the image it looks cool I like it so what we're going to do is we're then going to snip it so we're going to take the snip, we're going to save this real quick, the one I, I saved before, this is before, put it into downloads, and we're going to make a new one. This is with the snipping tool. Um, this is a different software. Most of you, I'm sure, know all about the snipping tool. We save this. Save it to downloads. Downloads. This is Kithri. Beta. Save. All right, now we, you guys are going to learn about another. Talk to you later. All right, Jester, have a good one. Thanks for stopping by and saying hello. The other software I use, I cannot afford or do not want to pay for Photoshop because I don't use it as often as I feel warrants paying for it. So what I have is I go to pixlr.com. Let me see if it's in my quick. It's not. So pixlr.com. These guys, I do have a. Uh, I did pay for. Let's see. Continue email. Why is this being weird? There we go, sensor 77. So I use this to prepare all my PNGs, my so to get so um, what I'm going what I'm doing now, I do this many 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 times. But that's all I do with this. I don't make any other art. I don't make cards I don't do anything all I do is remove the background from images 90% of the time that's all I'm doing um, so I did the pixlr has a one-time 
lifetime purchase. So when I got my Twitch payout from you guys, from all my supporters and people who are watching ads and subscriptions and stuff like that, Twitch paid me. I bought um, a lifetime of them. You don't have to. I don't use any of the things that it pays for, but I use it so much I wanted to give them some support. So I bought the full version. Anyway, even the, with the free version, this is all, all I am doing is just going to my wand select, select, delete, boom. Very simple. If I wanted to, I could really get into and get. Like this little speck here with the hair. Delete. But I don't care about the rest of it. So there she is. I then go to save, file, save, PNG, save as. I'm just going to overwrite. Yep, there it is. Save. File saved. Close. Simple as that. It's on the web. I just not in my computer. There's also two different versions of them. So there is the uh, PX, the the Pixlr E version, and then a, a more dumbed down version that doesn't have as many options. Uh, again, they're both free. I definitely s suggest them if you don't want to pay for Photoshop. I have not found a time when I couldn't do what I wanted to do in this. And Photoshop would let you do that. So um, I don't know if I'm explaining it well, but uh, everything you can that I would ever need to do in Photoshop, I can do in this. And it's free. Uh, there you go. Alright, so I've got that. Close it. So now we go, now that I have my image, we're just going to do everything we've just been doing. So we open up our two file explorers. Um, this one is actually in downloads. We're going to open up our, uh, and, and I'm going to throw this. This one I can move over here, boof. I don't need it in downloads anymore. Close. And then I go to my image metadata builder. Drop in her in. Bloop. All right. So this one I am going to set the clip region because I didn't realize there was a line here that for some reason didn't get clipped off. And same thing with the top. So I'm going to set the clip region. I only want it. to go, I'm going to uh, do want the knife, so I'm going to go here, bottom right, now set measurement region, left, right, height is 2.11, 2.11, Expected grid is one. Now I don't know if the height is in tenths. It says in feet, so I'm going to leave it as that, presuming it's in feet. And then set center floor. S click on set center floor location. And again, I'm going to put it just slightly between the two feet, but in between her. Yeah. Click right there. Save. Boom. It adds the XML. And now we go to our assets. Refresh. We remove it from hers. And now we go to our. I'll just go to all. We go to Campania. Wrong one. Back. Data. 
because and then battle maps and character Bloop, there she is. K3 is done, so we have two left. We have John and we have Genesis. So we'll look at John. John is five foot nine. And this one is Jaunty Rogue. All right, so that's the image I'm looking for. We open up our... Oh, it looks like I closed the other. So we're going to click on this, right-click, open in a new window. All right, we want campaign. Wednesday. Images. Right, I'm actually going to shrink these a little bit to match this. I like this size better. Where's my view? View. Medium. Okay. He is not here. All right, Jaunty Rogue, where'd you go? Let's see. Is it in my normal images? Let's see. Fantasy Grounds images. Go down to the J's. There he is. Fancy Rogue copy. I'm going to read. Uh, I'll leave it. I don't want us to mess with the file, so right click. Copy. Paste, control V. There he is, Conchanti Rogue. Here, I'm going to go ahead and change the name because we're just going to change it to John H. All right, so now we open up our software, drag this image over. And we go to measure region. Height is five foot, I mean, uh, five point one one, five foot eleven. And again, this is one square. Set the center floor right in the middle there. Boop. Save. He's saved. Now I go pull up assets. I'm going to move John over here so I can work with him. Here, refresh. Click on this area right here where his portrait is. And that pulls up picture and tokens. Subtract this. You could probably just drag over the new one, but because they're the same image, I want to make sure it's the new correct image. So I'm deleting it first, just to make sure. Here's this. Bloop. There he is. Okay. So John is done. Oh, I made him 5'11 instead of 5'9. I am going to redo that. So let's go to... Open this up. Open this up. Take this. Delete. Do it again. Actually, we don't need to dry redrag him. It's still the same one. Um, set management region. Height. 5.9 expected 
tokens is one. Center floor. Loop. Save. Now he's back. Go here. We go to refresh folder assets. Folder assets refresh. I'm going to go ahead and clear out my chat by typing slash clear. Everything that's been typed in here goes away. There we go. Folder assets refreshed. So now we open this. Delete the old one. Drag the new one. Boom. There we go. All right. Jonathan. Last is Genesis. I might do Piper too. We'll see. What does Piper have for his? Piper has this. And let's take a look at Piper. Piper is an NPC, another familiar. He does not have a token. Token. So yeah, we'll do Piper as well. Yeah, 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 we'll do Piper as well. Okay, so we'll just put him over here for now because we're working on Genesis. Genesis is 5.7. So we go here to the image, see what image we're using for her. She is Genesis.ping. Perfect. Open up the two file explorers. Find Genesis. Genesis, because it's named Genesis, is within the campaign. So you notice I have the Jaunty th Rogue because that's f open for any campaign. But if it's for a particular name, that means it's within that, the campaign itself. Uh, images, Genesis. And then I open up this Metadata Builder. Drop Genesis. All right. I now know. I did this probably five years ago. How to clean all that up. Um, I probably didn't even notice it back in the day when I did this PNG. I don't care enough. It's not visible anytime I use it. We're talking tiny, tiny tokens. So I'm not worried about it. I would fix it now. But um, if I were to remaking this. Anyway, getting back to what we're doing here, set measurements. Left. Right. What did she say we were? She's 5'7", okay. Five point seven one hex set the center boom save oh I messed up okay so I forgot to move her over to the right file location first not a problem we have this cliff selected. Control C. I think I clicked something wrong here. Let me try it again. There it is. Genesis. Now we move this one. Move. Poof. There we go. Genesis XML. All right. So now she's all set. We go here to our assets, refresh, go to Genesis portrait location, clear it, drop it, close it, close it. Alright, so now all we have left is Piper. And Piper is over here. Piper is Piper PNG. Perfect. So,
we go to the pick, open up our file explorers again, find Piper, copy it. And then we drag it. There he is. And all his cuteness. And yeah, I don't think Mantha, the player who uses this familiar token, even realizes that it's more, very much a fey creature with leaves for it. part of its tail and stuff. Anyway, set measurement record. So this time we're going to go up to the height of his head, top of his head down to its bottom of its feet I'm going to put the width in this time because they're about a ferret is typically what would you say 24 inches long two feet it's a good sized ferret I know some of them are smaller, but I'm going to go with two feet long, wide. Expected grid height, one. He's not flying, so we will leave it there. Set, set I mean, set center is going to be right here. So his tail will go below, and then save. So now, come in here, refresh folder assets, make sure it populates, go here, click on this face hole for an NPC to add these, we come here, we go bloop, bloop, close, we take this guy, we will come over here to Papa. Delete. Add. Where did he go? Fiber. Okay. Close. All right. So now we are finished with all of our changing of the scales of the people so let's take a look here's our should be our image yep we then add all of our friends again bloop put them back in a line let's take a look at our old image um, go to downloads before all right Genesis K3 Tusk John Athena Genesis K3 Tusk John Athena we'll put Piper over here by Genesis now we're just going to delete these two. They were close enough. I'm not worried about them. They're sidekicks. Alright, so now here's our... Or did I just close that image again? I did. Here's our before. Move that there. Switch to view. Dun, drum roll. Brrr. Come on back.
down. Two, one, two, three. Yeah, that's correct. She's tiny, tiny, holy snikes. Um, and the owl is floating, so it's above the ground. There you go, if you notice. It's above. Oop, just a little bit. Back. All right, so there, here we go. Let's compare them side by side, shall we? So that's what they looked like before, and now they're all accurate. So Kithri is still tiny, <laughs> but um, the uh, Genesis is fixed clearly. Uh, Tusk and John are about the same as they were before. But now we know for sure, for sure, what their uh, height is. Uh, it looks like Tusk is a little bit wider now in this realistic version. Um, so, very cool. It's a lot of work. I mean, it's not difficult work. It's just making sure you follow the steps. Boom, boom, boom. Um, and, again, this is not vital to playing at all. This does nothing for the top-down view which is how I run as a DM. Um, but now that when I stream tonight, they will all be accurate, and I will have a sense of satisfaction knowing that they are all correct. All right, so how far are we into it? It's been about an hour. So I think I'm going to stop it here for a moment. I'm going to do a little bit more work on the stuff for tonight. So what we're doing tonight is they're uh, going to the Cloud Giant's Lair. I'm going to pull up the message of the day, make sure that's accurate. So I have a message of the day linked down here. Um, to find it, you go here to options. And as a dungeon master or a player, you can um, it will show up right here on the bottom, message of the day. Player won't see all these other things, but they will see the message of the day. Alright, so we have an uh, image of a Cloud Giant's letter that uh, I'm throwing in here just because it's a cool image that I made and or found. I don't remember exactly how I came upon it, but it exists. All right, they're not preparing. They did, they are to meet. A pair of scouts in Burdusk. They meet Maitri and Zine, decide to train them. On the way to Jasper Moon, they fight some creatures. Then they all fought some belay, bullets, belay, whatever you want to pronounce it. Uh, last week, gathering of the bits and pieces. We talked to the mayor.
All right, so 6.30, good. So our measure of the day is correct. So this pops up anytime somebody joins the table. I'm gonna do another MacGuffin on here, or treat, whatever you wanna call it. So this is to see if they're actually reading it. It also has this, the, I put my Sirenscape link. I usually put my maps that they're on if they're in the middle of a combat, stuff like that. All right, so I'm gonna kill all the bad guys. Right click, delete only foes so I clicked on the menu delete and delete only foes what time did I say it was Six thirty p.m. alright so yeah they have not taken a long rest yet that's why he is still hurt Alright, and so I did this, getting this all set up for the last time they were here. Let's go to our image of the Sword Coast. So they were going to go to Meadow Nest. I was looking for images for a of a bird place I don't remember if I ever found them let me look in my assets go to images this is called meadow nest so let's go to bird I don't remember if I ever actually found the... Why does this have a bird? Citadel of the Raven? Oh, there are birds in it, but okay. It's weird. Bonovo, good stuff. Bird decorations, bird town. Bird tracks. Okay, so let's go to back to our images here. So Meadow Nest. I thought I had found I had done it. So did I not save it or what's going on with my Meadow Nest? Alright, so that was what I was going to use for, as Meadow Nest. Cool, 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 cool. So we just open, put it into our. We go here to white. Right now we're in Wednesday's images. That's perfect. We're just gonna drag it over. All right, ATG map. Uh, what does against the giants map? Why do I have against the giants map here? Oh, that's right. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I, this was the other one I, I made for them. All right. Um, we're going to add this to... So those are the two things I did using my um, close. Uh, minimize, minimize. Assets. So I did AI. 
I had him. There we go. All right, so I uh, used AI to build those two images. Um, now that they're in here, you still have, they don't, won't show up in your images over here yet. So if I go to Meadow, see you don't see it here. If I do ATG, there's nothing here. So what you have to do is you have to make a campaign. Here I'll show you. So let's find them first. We will now type Meadow. And you see it shows up so you double click it and now you have to make a create a map where record and then it'll show up now in the images close it go to images there you go see it's now here all right so uh, and what I've done is I've taken the I'm going to close this, so toggle toolbar, lock it, so there we go. I've taken the uh, story entry for the Frost Giant, and I've just added to it. Um, so here's the last fight they had last week, and then now... Um, So leading up to this, they're going to go to Meadow Nest. So we're not quite in the start yet. So we're going to go, we're in Prelude getting there. And then I'm going to have here the image for Meadow Nest. Looks like my Daugus is getting antsy, wanting to go out. So we're going to drop this here. This is identified. Yep. Okay, good, good, good. I don't like its lowercase, so I'm going to actually unidentify it, unlock it, and make the ident unidentified capital. So what happened was a island that had a bunch of Aarakocra, the, the bird people, for some reason, the Aarakocra left that island, and they saw them, the group saw them fly overhead in this huge flock, hundreds of birds, <sighs> Aarakocra, as they flew, and this is where they landed, this is where they have now built this town. Still don't know the story behind, the group doesn't know the story behind that. Part of the reason is, because I haven't made it up yet. The other part, main part, is because they haven't asked. One of those little dangling, hey, you guys care about this? Do you want to participate in this? Um, I'm probably going to have some sort of natural disaster happen on the island. Maybe a magical disaster of some kind. The group can go there and find out. Or they can just ignore it like they have been all along. So we'll see. I also want to put my other image in here. Go here. I'm just going to switch that. Alright, so we're going to go ATG. ATG. Not to be confused with HET. Great goal. Interesting. Okay. Why do I have two? It's odd. Anyway, boom. Here's our map. Create. I was thinking about adding text text to it. And I might do that still. Um, Not a bad idea. Uh, let, let's take a look at this. We're going to make. We've got this here. We'll throw this down here. Uh, 
go back to our Photoshop thing. Yeah, I'm going to take my dog out, um, and then we'll, I'll mess around with this a little bit more. So, uh, thanks for stopping by, Jester Atomic. Appreciate you saying hi. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe. Come back tonight. I didn't think it was plural. Well, I kept going back and forth. It's a plural, and it's not social. Uh, if you have questions about this, where to get that this metadata builder and stuff like that, um, let me know. I can let you in on where that is and how to find it. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, whatever else you do. Enjoy the rest of your day. I will see the rest of you tonight. Or a little D's and the other D's.